Ah. Oh, this you crazy mother. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Chris, the YouTube critic, coming back at you with another video. Today's video is six interesting facts about y'all's acapella group band, Pentatonix. All right? The link to this video will be down in the description below. We don't know. We were just talking about how we don't know. All, we're not as informed as you guys are on the Pentatonix acapella group band so we try to learn some facts about these guys we want to be just knowledgeable as you are so in order to do that we got to do our research big time so what better way than to do that with you guys okay right. so with that being said we're gonna go ahead and get into the video um like i said the link to the video will be down in the description below if you're new to the channel go ahead and hit the link i mean <laughs> if you're new to the channel go ahead and hit the like subscribe and notification button that way you can join your boy each and every day that i drop a video for the fun all right all right so without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. Lego! <laughs> oh my god. Lego! <laughs> hey, we're By now, the world is familiar with Pentatonix, a five-person a cappella group originating from Arlington, Texas. Act the group up. rose to fame after appearing on and winning the third season of NBC's singing Love competition, The, the Sing-Off. Since then, they've toured the world, won a Grammy, had multiple singles on the charts. Here's five yeah, interesting not, facts about the group. While many band names are seemingly random, Pentatonix name? was named after a musical scale. Very well thought out and very fitting, considering the Pentatonix scale has five notes per octave. This symbolizes yeah, five the five-member group, consisting of... Hi, I'm Mitch. I'm Scott. Woo! I'm the girl. Hey, what's up? I'm Kevin. Hi, I'm Avi. Avi. Hey, I'm Avi. Beatboxer Kevin, affectionately known by his nickname K.O., K -O. K -O. never planned to have a professional oh, career in music. In fact, right before being asked to join Pentatonix, hmm. the Yale graduate was planning yes. to head off to oh, medical school. Oh, he's a Yale graduate. While he what? was thrilled to have the opportunity to follow his musical Dang. dreams, his parents, who are Nigerian immigrants, didn't share those same emotions. They they don't play I'll that. never forget mm -hmm. that conversation, Kevin says. The reason immigrants come to America is to provide their kids with opportunities. But when they say opportunity, they mean a prestigious job and career. When I had the epiphany that I could do music and sustain myself, they were like, okay, son, we need to talk. <laughs> right. When art imitates In life. the movie Pitch Perfect 2, Pentatonix makes a cameo appearance, playing a Canadian a cappella group competing against oh. the Bellas. Even though this was the group's first performance in a motion picture, one of the members has a real-life connection to a star Bella. Vocalist Scott Hoying actually attended college and competed in an a cappella singing group, SoCal Vocals, yeah. with Pitch so Perfect cow. 2 star Kelly Jackal, who plays Jackie from the Bellas. Uh -huh. Scott was able to spend his time on set hanging out cool. and catching up with his old friend and singing partner, from his days at the University of Southern California. In a recent interview, oh, this little group that could shared some interesting info. They have several big time celebrity fans. Last year, they were shocked to see Channing Tatum sing their praises after he tweeted out a video of the group singing Royals like to his video. eight you got a million to that Twitter one. followers. Bonnie Hunt, the actress and comedian known for playing the mother in Cheaper by the Dozen, mm -hmm. is a massive fan who, quote, literally tweets us every day. She's <laughs> always sending us jokes. That's Scott cool. Hoying yeah, added that, that he cool. has idolized Kelly Clarkson since yeah. he was eight, and after attending Kelly's recent the concert, was blown away when she approached him after the show and told him she had ironically spent the previous night watching every single Pentatonix Dang. video she could find online. <laughs> Jar of Hearts singer Christina Perry oh, was I so impressed her. with the band, 
She even invited them out to get milkshakes together. Oh, that's what's up. Despite their success, you, you won't you find this group making any diva demands on tour. When asked what is on their tour rider, they stated up until recently it was filled with junk food. Cheese, crackers, candy, and the works. The, the group go. decided as a whole to change their diet to That's be the best health. Bitch lost so much darn weight. Now it's water, lemon, honey and teas, and no dairy products. Huh. They do oh, ask for teas. two whole rotisserie chickens before every show. Man, That's holes? about the most Mariah Carey thing we ask for. <laughs> it tastes so good though and yeah. never gets old. I love says Scott. And Pasta. for our final interesting fact, did you know that Pentatonix started out as a three member group? They felt for optimal sound and performance style, they needed to expand. They easily found their fourth member, but finding a okay, beatboxer to complement the vocal harmonies didn't he's come so still, easily. He's in the books. That is, until they came across videos mm -hmm. Kevin Breaking had uploaded to YouTube. Despite being near broke, the group pooled oh. together money to pay for a plane <laughs> ticket for Kevin to meet them in LA. Dang. Just days before the sing-off audition. Wow. They didn't even have time to get to know each other, but <laughs> did have time to practice performing Telephone by Lady Gaga, the song that landed them a spot on the show. That's what's up, They though, say man. paying for that ticket was the best investment the group has ever you made. You ain't lying. I wonder how much it don't believe cost. they would be where they are today without Kevin. And Aww. the rest is history. Hey, that's what's up. Oh, show. <laughs> to get your daily that news makes me happy. That's a good story. I almost started to touching. <laughs> I no, I was excited when they started talking about the last part. That's what's up. Anyway, so yeah, oh man, that's hot. I like that story, man. That last fact number six was hot. It was hot. It was hot. Because I didn't know. I thought they'd been together for a little bit, you know, before they went on to the show. But they were a three man a cappella group band. Person. That was just a general. That was. A, I know. I'm just saying. So, yes. We found out six new facts about pentatonics, baby. Whoop, whoop. Six. Now I can say I know some things. Something. Something. Not as in-depth as you guys, but no. I know something. You know what I'm saying? We're getting there. Getting there. We're Time working on it. Be gentle. A little bit. So, yeah. That's six facts about pentatonics. Your group. You might not have known some of that stuff. I right. don't know. Who knows? Y'all y'all know everything, though. But anyway, so if you like the video, go ahead and smash the like button. If you like, if you're new to the channel and you like Chris and Andrea, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification button. That way, you can join us each and every day that we drop a video for the fun, baby. You understand me? Don't get to like. Yes, I said like the bike. Like it. <laughs> so anyway, uh, that's it for us today. We love y'all. All 206. Wait, well, let me see. We're going to get a quick update real quick because we might got a new subscriber. Real time update. Real, real time, time update. update. Mm -hmm. We have. It's Andrew Bangs on the table. Woo! 208 million subscribers. So we just gained a couple subscribers <laughs> while we're doing a video. Ain't that tight? <laughs> That's great. That's awesome. Thank you, whoever those two subscribers were. We love you. You're awesome. We love you. You just got a shout out and you just you just subscribe. Shout, shout out. out to you. Shout so if you was on here and and you know said, Oh, I subscribed when they had two hundred six or two hundred and seven, then there you go. That's you. That's you. <laughs> Shouts out to you. So without anything else to say, since you knew you don't know what the heck we're about to say, but you need to get out of my face.